taken me a long time to get here. I've, I've been at a different house and I've been in a different place and I've been in an actual studio space and I've been in a different room in this house and I finally got into this space now. Now this room changed a lot since I moved into it and I, I really was able to get it to where it's at now. And I was going for a minimal feel that makes me feel inspired. Whenever I'm editing or if I'm filming stuff, if I'm just sitting in a room, whenever I'm working, if I have to sit there for 12 hours editing, I want it to feel inspiring. I want it to feel comfortable. And that's what I think we've made this room. So what I went for was three different things. So we have a prep section, we have a charging station, and we have the desk set up. So we're going to go through each of those in this video and kind of explain why I did each of them. And I just want to show off what it looks like because it took a long time to make all of this be the way it is. And as I wrote the script and as I wrote this video, I realized there is a lot of stuff to go over. So let's get into it. We're going to start with the prep section. Okay, so the prep station. What is a prep station? Well, I'm always going on shoots or setting up for weddings or wanting to film reels. There's all kinds of stuff I like to do. And this station is not a desk per se, but a spot where I can film content, prep cameras, make sure batteries are where they need to be, take cool aesthetic shots. And I needed that to happen in a cool looking spot. So the Husky workbench is what basically drives this area. It's beautiful. It has a cool wood top. The actual, the top actually goes up and down so you can stand with it. I don't do that very often, but it goes up and down. It's blacked out. It looks sick and it's got tons of storage. And that's the important part. It has lots and lots of little areas where I can put batteries, where I can put keyboards, where I can put controllers, but it's really cool. And one of the best parts about it is it's powered. So you can actually make it a charge station if you want. Now I don't have it as a charge station, but you have that opportunity. Okay, up next, the charge station. I'm doing this one quick because the charge station is probably the lamest part here. Basically all it is, is a cupboard full of stuff that charges. I charge all my Canon batteries in here, controllers, I have miscellaneous cables. It's ugly. I'm going to probably redo all this eventually, but this is the charge station. I can charge everything and know that whenever I go to a shoot, a battery will be ready. That's it, the charge station, it's simple. All right, let's get back to it. The desk setup. This is huge. It took me so long to figure out how to get this desk set up to work. And when I say that, it's because I've basically built the ultimate PC and Mac experience. I can do all my editing in Final Cut Pro, all of my MacBook, Apple ecosystem work here, but then I can also do all of my streaming or Windows or gaming PC stuff at the same desk. And that all revolves around the first thing we're gonna go over, and that is my monitor. So I have the Doe Spectrum 4K Glossy. So this is 144 Hertz 4K monitor. It's glossy. I hate matte displays. I like glossy ones. I think it's sharper. And this monitor also has, it has USB-C built in. So when I say that, it means I can take a USB-C cable and it gives me power to a dock that I have we'll go over. And then that dock plugs into my MacBook and runs everything. So basically my goal was I want to be able to plug my MacBook into one cable and then everything works. It's been perfect because whenever I'm editing, it is now a Mac monitor that has a high refresh rate. It's 4K resolution. The colors are great. It's got a glossy display. And then if I want to swap, I just click the back of it and boom, I switch the display over to the PC and then now I'm gaming. And it's awesome because it's high refresh, 4K resolution, it's clean such a good monitor and I highly recommend it. I hope more companies come out with monitors that are similar to this one because I feel like it's a really good hybrid for both Mac and PC. Now let's move on to the desk. The desk is beautiful, but I can't say I came up with this idea. Andreas is a YouTuber that I watch all the time and he's the first guy that I saw do this. Basically he took this giant Ikea, uh, not desktop, but it's a giant Ikea kitchen countertop and he mounted it to sit stand legs. So what I did was I actually bought the top from Ikea, had it delivered to my house because it's 98 inches. That, it's really long. It's, 90, it's like probably overkill. It goes across this entire wall in this room. And then I connected that actually to my steel case solo legs. So steel case, love them. They actually were kind enough to send me this, the steel case sit stand solo desk. I just took the legs off of it, expanded them out, drilled them to this. And now I have a massive custom sit stand desk and it's so aesthetically pleasing and I always just need more space. So whenever I decided I wanted to do the MacBook and PC setup, 
I needed a lot of space to have a, you know, a MacBook there. I have all of my MacBook stuff. And then I also have on the other side, my PC, my Xbox, my router. I wanted that to all fit on one desk. So that's why I went with this giant setup. At the bottom, I have two Ikea Alex drawers, very common on YouTube. You've probably seen them before. They're awesome. Mine are pretty organized, not as organized as they could be. I mean, that's some of the, one of the things I want to expand on, but I, they're very useful and actually they're great because then I don't have to have as much stuff on my desk. It's a sit stand desk. I barely stand with it, but I took the steel case legs that I had from the desk they sent me and I put that on this and now it's just fancier, I guess, right? Here we go. All right, I wanna show you what I have under here. Come here. Okay, so look at this. No cables, and the B Todd TV Ultimate Cable Management Box is what makes this happen. So you can pull this off here, and that's where all my actual cables are. There's little grommets on all these spots, and there's a couple underneath where you can have cables go out that way, cables go up this way, go out the back, and then you just throw this little guy on here. And now, they're hidden. The only cable we have is the cable that just powers the actual sit-stand desk. Fuel management is not the most important thing, but it helps me feel at ease because there's not a thousand cables lying on the floor. All right, before I forget, I gotta talk about the desk chair. One of the most important parts of your setup because you're gonna be sitting all day. This is the Steelcase Leap V2. It's my favorite chair. Simple, low profile, it's cool. It's got a good look, it's comfortable, it's got great arm rests, great adjustability. I got roller blades on it, so it runs around fast. Steelcase is one of my favorite brands ever. I love them to death. This chair is the best. I will not use any other chair but Steelcase, so highly suggest it. Probably make another video one day, but the Steelcase Leap V2, best chair. So let me show you all like my keyboard, my mouse, all the stuff that's on the desk. I want you to see what it is, but we're gonna go and, and we're gonna go look at it right now. And here it is, the main desk setup. Let's go over some of the little trinkets. That's what I'll call them that are on the desk here. Start with our mouse. So I rock the Logitech um, Pro Superlight. And when I'm gaming, I don't game on, on this. So I actually just, it's just a pretty mouse that I use. Now this is the Nufi Air 75, it's so at 75%. I don't use this for much. I just like how thin it was and it's wireless. It's, it's a clean, it's a clean. And it sounds like this. You wanna hear what it sounds? Wow, it's something else. Right here, I have this little, uh, I don't even know, I don't even know what the brand is. It's just a MagSafe charger for my phone. So whenever I'm chilling here, doing my work, it's charging, I can watch videos do my thing it's it's honestly perfect I love it uh, it switches like this I'll link it below now next down here's my stream stuff so we have a go XLR full size which is great I have it tucked under here um, sometimes I'll pull it out when I'm streaming but it's nice just to have it hidden under here we got a stream deck from Elgato gotta have that if you're streaming and then this is the receiver for my um, steel series wireless headset which is over here these are great I love them uh, I, I mean, I kind of wish that I could get wireless earbuds, but it does the trick. Up here, for my stream camera, I'm rocking the EOS R, and it's connected to a CamLink 4K, and that's what makes it so I can see it on this computer. It's great. I usually just switch the lens. Right now we have the 24 to 105 on there. Uh, usually I put like a 16 to 35 on there. Just depends what I'm feeling. Sometimes a 35 millimeter, 14, you know what I'm saying. We got the PC over here. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Next up over here, my Apple stuff. So I have an iPad mini right here. Love the iPad mini. Like this is such a great iPad because it's so small. It's like almost the size of a phone. I love it. It's perfect for what I need. And then whenever I'm switching things up, this is what I do. So if I'm going to be on the MacBook setup, I actually just pull this out do the old switcheroo put this here and I rock just the old school like this is just a the Apple keyboard and the magic mouse I've ran these for years I love both of them I have logic MX master 3s or something I use it sometimes but in, for the most part I use both of these now what they're sitting on you see how beautiful this is well this is a way too expensive wool mat desk mat and desk pad by Grove Made. Grove Made makes incredible products. 
I'm not sponsored by them, so I paid full price for both of these things, but they're super high quality, and I think it adds a lot of texture and just makes this little area feel awesome. Now we have a couple more things here. The speakers or monitors, whatever you wanna call them. These are Presonus. They're like $100. I have no clue what their main thing's called, but they work great. They're awesome. They're small, they're sleek. And the main thing is they sound great. So they're awesome. And the last thing I wanna talk about is this cool desk shelf. This is from Balolo or Balu, or I don't know how to say it. I'm, I'm misrepresenting what it's called, but it's from not the United States. It's basically Grove Maid's cheaper alternative. Uh, it's not $400 like Grove Maid, but it's still like really smooth. It looks clean. It pulls this all together, honestly. Whenever that's not there, it kind of looks like a jumbled mess. With that here, it hides stuff when you're looking down like this. It looks fine. It's just, it's very nice. Okay, that's my little trinkets. Let's get into some more details. All right, so like I said, I have this desk split up into an Apple ecosystem and a Windows ecosystem, but let's go through it. Let's talk about what things that I have. Cause you probably wanna know what MacBook am I running? What PC am I running? I'm gonna show you. So on the Mac side of things, we'll start there cause it's a little bit more complicated. I'm running the M1 Max 2021 MacBook Pro, has four terabytes of space internally, which is awesome because I've been able to edit any of my current projects just on there. So when I'm out in public or I'm, I'm editing somewhere else or just even here, I'm not plugging SSDs into it like ever. Only like near the end of the season when I have a lot of projects at once. I kind of actually wish I would have got the eight terabyte, which sounds crazy, but on the next MacBook I get, I'll probably get the eight terabyte internal storage. So another really important workflow thing I have with the MacBook setup is the Kingston Workflow Station. And what that is, is basically basically hot swappable SD card slots. So I can transfer eight SD cards at once. It's honestly incredible whenever I come back from like a wedding and I have, you know, nine SD cards full of stuff. It takes no time to get everything transferred. I don't have to like do one, take it out, do one, take it out, do one. I can throw them all in there, go downstairs for a bit, come back up, everything's transferred. The last thing on this MacBook section is this old and tall <laughs> G Speed Shuttle XL. It's 24 terabyte RAID 5 drive. It's, it used to be what I edited it on because it was really fast. It was before SSDs were more affordable, but now it kind of just sits on the desk. It's where all of my current projects live or any assets that I don't have space on my current computer or my SSDs. So the PC over here, it's got a 2080 Ti and it's got a Ryzen 9 3900X. So I'm about to upgrade it. If I can make the ultimate stream and gaming PC, that's what I'm gonna do next in that slot. Now, just to the left of it, I have a Xbox Series X that sits there. It's awesome. I play FIFA on there, a lot of other games. And then I have my mesh system. I won't go too far into the mesh system, but it works really great. Now, the last thing that is connected with my gaming area, and I already showed you on the desk, my, my camera and you know my GoXLR and all that stuff, but I have a Shure MV7, which is basically the Shure SM7B, but the smaller version, and it's connected to the Elgato. Uh, mic arm. It's amazing. It's clean looking. You can't see the cables. It's a small mic. I love the way Shure mics look. It sounds really clean. It's really easy to set up and it's also a USB mic so I can I can use it on my MacBook if I ever really need to. So that's the desk. The desk is awesome. There's a lot to it. Now the room itself, I wanted to feel not just like a dark room. So I have a bunch of Govi glide lights around here. And they're basically like these little six inch lights that you can connect into different shapes. So there's, you know, like this mountain looking one over here and like an L over there. And they're really nice because I can control them all through my phone. I use Google to do that so I can tell Google to do stuff and it turns the room on. I have a bunch of random lights in here and they're they're beautiful. I love, I love smart lights. I probably have too many of them in here. I mean, I have like, I think it's like 16 smart lights, but I'll link with the ones I have below, but the Gobi Glides, they're awesome. You can actually use them. Like the one on the wall behind me, I use that to light myself sometimes when I'm streaming because it's so bright. And you can do different designs and you can control from your phone. They're awesome. I have two last things in this room. It's these Ikea pegboards and I actually try to use them for stuff. So I have a lot of my leather paint stuff on, on the one where I can paint my shoes and customize them. On the other one, I have like controllers, keyboards, cables that I actually use, my headset. It's, they're, they're so usable. I never thought I'd actually use a pegboard, but these two sets of pegboards, the one that's over here, by the prep section and the one that's over in the gaming section. The gaming section one's awesome. I use it. I always have my, my keyboard up there. I always have my controller up there. I always have my headset up there. It just keeps stuff off the desk, keeps stuff tidy, but then it also looks cool, which is always helpful. Now I have one final room that you'll probably want to see. This is my sneaker collection. I'm going to do a video later that's going to show all of my sneakers, but let me just give you a quick peek of what that looks like. And here's the final spot, the sneaker room. Yes, this is all of my sneakers, 
tons of Jordan 1s. I have all kinds of stuff in here. Gonna do a full video on this eventually, but this is where I keep all my sneakers. Then over here, just a bunch of boxes. All right, <laughs> we did it. That felt like a marathon, right? We just went over my entire office, my studio, whatever you wanna call this cool space. There's probably stuff I missed, but I'm so thankful that I finally got a chance to get this room where I want it to be and then sit down and just show it to you. So I'm gonna try to link as much of it as I can below. Now, if you wanna see a filmmaking dad who loves video games and desk setups, make some more videos about that stuff, subscribe right now, like this video, share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or you wanna let me know in the comment section below like what your favorite stuff in this room is, just let me know, I appreciate it. All right, cool, I love all of you, I'm Bearded Luke. See you later.